Today we have some new information on first person on foot combat in Odyssey. It contains details on weapons, personal shields, armor, suits and more. So let's take a look. The latest information on Elite Dangerous Odyssey comes from issue 351 of PC Gamer, where the magazine interviews Piers Jackson, Elite Dangerous Series Game Director. The magazine will be on shelves on Thursday, however it's already in the hands of subscribers, as such details have been posted to Reddit thanks to Redditor Dinbar. Much of the information printed in the article contains things we have already been told previously, however there are a number of new details on combat. Firstly, Piers Jackson confirms that at least some of the combat will take place on surface settlements. Here, players will be able to take on missions to, for example, assist with the settlement that has lost power. The settlement in this case might potentially be occupied by criminal gangs, which you could then attack. Another option would be to sneak into the settlement, or perhaps even run away. The focus on combat is very much that of a tactical shooter. Piers confirmed that combat would fall somewhere between armor and Call of Duty. It was very clear to point out that Frontier do not want an arcade shooter. Bottom line, Frontier are not wanting Twitch-based combat, yet at the same time it won't be a slow, sluggish affair. Getting this balance right is something Frontier have been working on for a very long time. Just as combat in ships feels different from ship to ship, so too will on foot sections feel different depending upon your chosen weapons and suit. There are some differences however, whilst combat in a ship involves long battles, at least usually, combat on foot will be much quicker. The core similarities then will be the use of shields and armour, and these will need to be balanced depending on the moment to moment situation. For example, certain weapons are good against shields, whilst other weapons are better against armour, and this will be depending upon whether you're using an energy based weapon or a kinetic based weapon. Weapon choice then will be an important factor. All the more so due to the fact that it seems suits will only be able to carry a limited number of weapons, so you best take the weapons that you will think you will actually best need. There will of course be a choice of long range and short range weapons. Apparently weapons will also have different draw speeds which will be affected by their size, and this in turn will affect the aiming of the weapons aiming down the sight. Combat suits will allow players to carry an additional weapon, but will lack certain tools that are available on other suits. Suits then will essentially determine your role. Players will likely want to swap out their suits depending on the task they are planning, or even f uh, change from suits from mission to mission. It was also made clear that combat with ships and on foot are not separate. That means that ships are free to get involved with attacks on settlements whilst players are doing the same on foot. How this actually plays out in terms of balance though is something that we'll have to just wait and see. After all, players on foot trying to shoot down ships might be a tough call, unless of course they have very specialised weapons. But it does seem unlikely they'll be shooting at a ship with a hand pistol. Ships meanwhile risk being a very real threat in my opinion. The massive weapons on even the smallest of ships would likely pose a huge risk to anyone on foot. So how all of this actually plays out is going to be very interesting indeed. I'm hoping the Frontier are able to balance this well, because if not, there could be a load of different problems. Another interesting piece of information from the article is that players will be able to physically board another player's ship, just so long as the ship is open for them to do so. This is what Frontier called a physical version of Multicrew, because uh, Multicrew right now is basically done through holograms. So essentially what we're about to do is to travel with another player on board their ship, and whilst doing so perhaps help with their weapons, and then disembark at the destination wherever that may be, whether it's at a space station or somewhere else on a planet. Now if Frontier have fixed the various issues that are currently in the game with multi-crew, and there are indeed many of them, then this is really going to be a very nice aspect for Odyssey. Now elsewhere in the article there's a few new screenshots, unfortunately I can't show these in the video, however one of the uh, images shows an SRV driving into a settlement with someone walking next to it, and in another screenshot we can see a person holding a weapon and letting off an energy burst as a discharge. The weapon's fire looks very similar to a beam laser or a pulse laser on a current existing ship. The way the weapons are being carried certainly looks fitting for an FPS, however this is very hard to judge with the static images, we do need to see some movement. 
Now, as with my previous video on the SRVs, and this is a still speculation, I do feel that SRVs will play an important part in Odyssey. How far Frontier go with this, though, is certainly an open question, as is, of course, the use of engineers. We know there will be new engineers on Odyssey. Whether these are exclusively for suit upgrades, though, or if they will also be able to be used with uh, SRVs, will certainly make a huge difference. Right now, there's no information on when the next Dev Diary will be, but just maybe it will be able to answer a few of these questions. At any rate, that's most of the new information. You can find a link to the Reddit thread in the video description. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.